Howdy folks, this is Zach Levitt. I'm going to show off a new script of mine called Create Pivotal Null. Now what this does is creates a null at one of these nine key or pivotal points of your layer, much like reposition anchor point gives you. Now what you do is, to use the script, you have your layer selected, choose one of the nine points, in this case I'll choose the top right corner, I'm just going to go ahead and hit create. Easy as that, it's given me a null and you can see that with this layer, I can rotate it around or move its position or scale and the layer will follow. This is because by default in the options, I've got the parent to null option selected. This just means that my layer will be as said, parented to this null. This kind of helps for making quick little rigs for um, just setting up and moving your composition, your layers, depending on what you're going to do. In this case, I have a shape layer selected, but it actually works for any sort of layer you may have. In the event that your layer is, you know, maybe rotated up, rotated down, or scaled, or maybe its orientation is even adjusted. Sorry, I'm just using a stylus here. It's a bit slow in the input. When you create your null, it will work regardless of the transform applied. I'm just going to undo this back out. Cool. Now, also here in the options field are three offset areas. This is just for um, if you don't want your null to be right at the corner or right at the edge, if you just want it to be offset a little bit. So for whatever reason, maybe you're working on a bigger project and you just need a bit more control over it. Instead of having to go and then move the anchor point separately for your null, here you can just create it, sorry, a caps lock on, change the offset, hit create, and it will move it right out for you. So here you can see it's just pushed away from that bottom left corner. Cool. I'm going to reset this back to zero. Now, in the event that your layer, your target layer is already parented to something, so in this case our main window layer is parented to this other one called top bar. So maybe it's like a uh, computer screen interface when you're working on that sort. Well this is what we want. We want our top bar to have control over all of our child layers. But we want to move our main window separately and just have it have this control on a controller null versus on the layer itself. So I'm just going to create, click the top center here. I'm going to hit parent to null. I'm going to hit create. So what this has done is created that null at the top center like we'd expect. And looking at the parenting list here, our main window shape layer is parented to our null and our layer is now parented to the top bar. So what this has done is it's put our null between the parenting options, kind of sandwich itself in there. And now in this case, we can say rotate it around or rotate it coming up or down like this. And it still rotates, sorry, I should say the main window will follow your null, but they'll both still follow your top bar as it's pre-parented. Now the very last case is if we turn off parent to null and create this layer, what that does is it just creates another null that is not parented to the, sorry, that your layer is not parented to. So if we rotate or move our layer around, nothing will happen. But it's still going to follow that it's also supposed to parent it to your top bar. Um, it just kind of creates a null there for whatever use you may have of that. And that is create pivotal null. Hope you find it useful. Thanks.